The news has returned to Frogmore Cottage. The Prince of Wales may be evicting his uncle, Prince Andrew, from his current apartment at Royal Lodge, and relocating him to the home, following the unceremonious removal of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex from the premises as senior royals. The Prince of Wales has long held a grudge against Andrew for being unwelcoming, when he first introduced the then the Princess of Wales to the royal family, and feels that his father has been too soft on him, the Mail Online reported from royal correspondent Richard K. It has led to speculation that it is the Prince of Wales who is pushing his father to evict the Duke of York from Royal Lodge, so the Walleses could move in. As K. pointed out, differences between monarch and heir do remain, especially when it comes to the Prince Andrew scandal. This suggests that the Prince of Wales and the King use different tactics to dealing with Andrew. The Windsor Mansion Royal Lodge has 30 rooms, but Frogmore only has five. It had 10 before restorations. After Queen Elizabeth removed Andrew's military titles in 2020 due to his association with the Jeffrey Epstein case, this move can be seen as yet another setback for his royal existence. There has been no change in royal residences yet despite the king's earlier request that Andrew leave Royal Lodge, as reported in the Mirror. In agreement with K, royal analyst Richard Eden stated that the Prince of Wales has no intentions of reintroducing Andrew to royal circles. In fact, the Prince of Wales is keen on further shrinking the monarchy, which has already caused some problems. A friend of the Prince of Wales told me, when the older members of the family retire, his royal highness won't be inviting anyone else to become working royal stated Eden. Who knows if he'll even be on board with his two younger children being royal servants. He looks to the minor monarchy of Europe as an example of what the future holds. The royal biographer Ahmed Scobie claims that the Prince of Wales set the wheels in motion, to end his uncle's reign as a monarch. As Scobie explains in his book Endgame, the Prince of Wales acted in his own self-interest when he saw that the prospect of an out-of-court settlement involving money from the family's private wealth were all damaging the monarchy's reputation. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more of the same. See you soon.